At first glance it's hard to believe it's possible. The volume of crop coming off this land contains more nitrogen than what is being put into the soil by Morrower farmer Bill Crabtree. And the amount of nitrogen in the soil is also rapidly increasing, all thanks to the use of no-till farming techniques and the encouragement of microbial activity in the soil. Out here I don't have a legume in my rotation. I have taken off more nitrogen than I put on this farm, probably in the order of about 15 kilograms of nitrogen over the five years less and what I've seen is that the soil has gone from having about 30 to 50 kilograms of nitrogen in the whole top metre that's risen to about 150 to 200 kilograms in the top metre. Known to many farmers in WA as no-till bill, Mr Crabtree has been preaching the benefits of stubble retention since the mid-1980s and most recently at the Grains Research and Development Corporation updates in Perth earlier this year. I grew up in the south coast of Western Australia where the soil was blowing away and we had to farm differently. So we had to reduce our tillage and that was why I got into it. Mr Crabtree's property is right at the edge of the northern agricultural zone. It averages just 305 millimetres of rainfall a year on a mixture of sandy and loamy soils. And yet he has been able to crop the full property each year with mostly back-to-back -back wheat and some canola depending on weed pressure. In the soil it's complex and we don't understand it, but we do know that, those, that there are bacteria in the gut of termites that are capable of fixing nitrogen. That's obviously what's happening and I suspect I'm picking up $70,000 a year versus of nitrogen from the atmosphere that they're fixing into my fields or paddocks. The key to understanding what is going on underneath the soil and what this means for managing fertiliser loads is regular soil testing. I still believe in nitrogen, putting it on. I think we've got, we've got, got to be sensible and we've got to put it on and we've got to try and optimise, match the nitrogen to the rainfall.